Alrighty bros, I hope you've all been enjoying your day so far today. I wanted to show you guys how to download and install this new NVIDIA and bank encoder for OBS Studio. This was released with the new RTX graphics cards and it is actually freaking insane. It, the, the quality is basically medium settings if you're using your CPU and you basically get no performance loss using a single computer playing PC games and streaming at the same time you basically get no performance loss maybe 5 FPS at the most so I wanted to show you guys how to download and install this before I do that I want to show you what it actually looks like and so that you guys can see whether or not you want to install it so I'm gonna go ahead and swap scenes and I'm then I will show you my settings inside of OBS studio this right here is the video that I ended up testing it on the other night and like it's freaking insane dude I, I want to go to the FPS no matter right here right I don't know when this weapon got buffed bro but oh my god All right, I'm gonna go full screen so it doesn't look weird when my webcam out of place. Are fucking annoying, ass dog. Yeah, zombies are annoying. You know, like you gotta keep in mind as well that I'm only using sixty thousand bit rate. Like, like look That's at this, insane, dude. This is basically dude. medium settings with your CPU, but you get like no performance loss whatsoever. I am, like I said, dude. Um, let me uh, show you this. Hold on. That's act, that's so dumb. And this is 1080p, 60 frames per second at the highest quality. The Twitch machine got unplugged. Try again in a moment. Sick. <laughs> Appreciate that, there, Twitch. While I'm recording video, you guys saw what it looked like anyway. But this right here is the link that I will include down in the description for you guys. In order to download this, you can go ahead and read over. Um, you know what it is and all of that sort of stuff you got to keep in mind as well that you need an rtx graphics card in order to use this new feature but if you are a streamer and you're looking to make that like a full-time thing and you already have a second pc stream set up you can just sell your other computer one because it's like a hundred times easier just to do everything on one computer and two you don't get any performance loss so if you have like a 1080 as an example like in my other computer you're still going to be playing pc games and streaming at the very same time and you will still be getting better fps better quality in your game than if you were to just be using a 1080 playing your game and using another computer so it is 100 percent worth doing this not to mention you're going to be able to sell off whatever the gpu is in the computer that you have and make money on top of that so if you do this you're at, like you're going to be actually making money like I, like i don't think you guys understand like like this like it's not how i don't need to do that anymore you guys saw but now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my settings here um let me go ahead and bring this i'm gonna disable my preview um but this is what it will tell you output right here this is when you when make sure rip you guys can see it my webcam is over here i'm gonna have to move it over here because of the way the whatever it looks i could flip it but then my ninja turtle would be backwards <laughs> but anyways like this right here like like i said guys you got to keep in mind like i'm using like the highest settings and like also 6000 bit rate you know what i mean like if i'm not playing a game or something when i'm recording like right now i ended up swapping it to 15,000 because i'm just sitting here on my computer talking to you guys so i don't need like a really high bit rate but like when i'm recording a video game like fortnite as an example i'll up it to like 30,000. and th the same thing with this <laughs> when you're recording too dude like i don't think you guys understand because i have used the old nvink encoder and it like Oh my god my computer like slugged out so much if i was playing a pc game so this right here is just cbr vbr means variable bit rate so your bit rate will go up and down depending on you know what you're doing inside of the video game and that sort of stuff and um i was only using what you just saw was 6000 bit rate i'm not partnered on twitch right now because I just I don't want to accept I, I do have the ability to accept that sub button but I don't want to do that because I'm not consistent on Twitch right now but once I begin being more consistent which I'm 
I've already started beginning to do, I will eventually accept that sub button and then I will up the bit rate. Um, because right now the way it is, is if you're not partnered, you don't have that option of 144p, 240p, 360p, 480p, 720p, 60fps, 1080p, 60fps, etc. Like when you're not part, you can get that every once in a while, but the majority of the time, 95% of the time, you don't have those options. So the higher bit rate that you have, that means less people are going to be able to watch your stream. So that is why I only use 6,000 bit rate. This is, I have no idea. I won't even lie to you guys. I'll be 100% honest. Keyframe intervals too. I just put that at two because it's what Twitch said to do. And then max B frames, I put this at two because Cruiser ended up telling me this makes the video quality look a little bit better. Um, this right here, I don't know what this does either. But anyways, um, this are the like this is a new option that you'll have with the new NVIDIA NBank H.264 new. That is what it says. The old one will not have the new in parentheses. Why they call it that, I have no idea. <laughs> but it should be like rtx h.264 because like i said you are going to need an rtx gpu but like i said if you sell your second computer like you, you'll be making money uh, like and i'm being serious guys you don't lose any performance in your game it's nuts um compared to the old one dude it's like the normal nvidia nvank bro oh my god you lose like 50 percent of your game quality but anyways this is a new option i'm pretty sure the nvank only goes up to quality or like high quality or something like that um, again, I can't change it right now because I'm recording in OBS and stuff. But anyways, guys, um, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I, I know that like it's pretty short and simple and I know it's probably longer than I needed to make the video, but I wanted to, you know, just kind of quickly explain it for people that are maybe newer. So I hope you guys respect and understand that. Maybe people that want to actually get into streaming. And even if you don't have an RTX graphics card, man, like if you got to spend a little bit of money and make an investment into something that you want to make a dream job, which is why I do what I do with this stuff. Like my earnings on YouTube is not what I like to save up and go to Burger King every single day, go buy a whatever, just something that I can't use with YouTube. A lot of the things that I do with my YouTube money, which I need to, I really need to start thinking about my future on YouTube and start posting things that I know is going to help me be successful. That's the only way I can think to do it. So, you know, I want to start helping other people, giving more tips and tutorials, doing stuff like that, reviews, and I am going to start doing tech crap. That was the funnest thing that I have ever done. That right there, that was the funnest thing I have ever done. I know that reaction video was stupid. I know that that was dumb, like, and that's why I titled it a pointless reaction of me building my first PC. I'm pretty sure that's what I ended up titling it, but that was not me faking that reaction, dude. I was so excited that I built that computer. I built this computer, Like, you don't understand spending six and a half hours doing something and getting nervous. Like, are, am I going to screw something up? And then turning the PC on and it works. Like I have not overclocked anything on this computer. You got to keep that in mind as well. Like, like I don't have anything overclocked guys. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't swapped my RGB on my motherboard. I have no idea why this is going all the way up to 4.8. It does go up to 4.9 sometimes. Um, it's just insane. I'm talking way too much. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Guys, I apologize. I I am, dude. I get like super. I'm such a nerd when I'm excited or having fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's going to bring us to the end of it. Um, I know my webcam looks weird right now. I, I'm going to move it over here to this side. But um, for the recording, I just kept it the way it was because what a pain in the butt this has been the past three days. I have not been like half assing my content for no reason. Like I've been, I've been insanely busy and I cannot wait to show you guys what this side of the setup looks like. If you follow me over on Twitter, you already know. But anyways, that's going to bring us to the end of the video because I will not shut up if I don't end it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Oh, I actually do need to show you something. Rip. 
Okay, let me, uh... Feels bad, bro. Okay, this right here. Don't know why those are there. Let me go ahead and delete those. Old OBS. When you download the this file right here, um, when you download this right here, I would recommend that... Yes, I know I didn't save it to my desktop. It's because it's a new computer. Um, it will download these. And in your normal OBS folder, it's basically you're just going to take these and put them into it. Um, and then what or you what I did is I downloaded this. It, whatever, I moved it to my desktop. It'll download into a zip file. I kept it there. I went into my other old old OBS when you when you do it it should be in your program files I'm pretty sure yeah this like what I did is, is I made that old whatever folder I took these put them in it and then I took the folder that I downloaded and just moved them to this and it'll ask you do you want to replace them and that's and you just hit yes you close out OBS if you have it open which I would imagine you don't and then um you'll be good to go and that'll install everything but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.